verify Green's theorem in a plane for integration of c is a closer curve x square plus y square into dx plus 3x square y dy where c is the circle x square plus y square is equal to 4 traced in a positive sense okay now solution so we have so we have Green's theorem okay now Green's theorem integration closure curve C m dx plus n dy is equal to this is left hand side integration of integration this is the region R dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y with respect to x with respect to y now take a left hand side LHS integration of closure curve C is a x square plus y square dx given okay plus 3 x square y dy and the parameter parametric equation of the equation of the given circle is x is equal to 2 cos theta and y is equal to 2 sin theta now see the equation x square plus y square is equal to 4 is a like this this circle this is x axis and this is a y axis now this is a x square plus y square is equal to r square r square means 4 radius 1 is plus 2 1 is minus 2 r is equal to 2 now theta this is angle theta 1 circle means angle is 0 less than equal to theta less than equal to 2 pi 2 pi means 360 degree 1 circle ok now now left hand side LHS ok this left hand side so how will you get x is equal to 2 cos theta generally we consider x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta see the equation x square plus y square is equal to 4 means x square plus y square is equal to r square r square means 4 r is equal to 2 take r is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 cos theta and y is equal to 2 sin theta now let them say integration so the theta is a range 0 to 2 pi this is theta is equal to ok now x square x square plus y square x square plus y square is a 4 x square plus y square is equal to 4 ok dx this is x is equal to 2 cos theta dx is equal to 2 into differentiate cos is a minus sin theta dt dy is there dy differentiate this one 2 cos theta dt ok dx dx means into minus 2 sin theta dt plus integration of theta is 0 to 2 pi ok now 3 is as it is x square this is square 4 into cos theta sorry cos square theta next y so y means into 2 sin theta and into dy dy means again 2 cos theta dt ok now this is equal to 2 into 4 8 now integration of sin is a minus cos theta minus minus plus after integration of sin you get minus and this minus is a plus plus cos theta this is only cos theta with limit 0 to 2 pi plus 3 into 4 12 into 2 24 into 2 48 48 is outside the integration 0 to 2 pi cos square into cos is a cos cube theta and only one sin theta d theta ok now and this is equal to 8 into first to apply upper limit cos 2 pi theta is equal to 2 pi minus theta is equal to 0 cos 0 then after integration you get minus 48 into 
cos is to 4 theta divided by 4 with the limits 0 to 2 pi. So how will you get this part after integration? It's very simple. Now take cos theta. Cos theta is equal to t and differentiate minus sin theta d theta is equal to dt. Okay, dt. Substitute integration cos theta means t means this is a t cube sin theta dt sin theta dt is a minus is there take minus dt now integrate this part minus integrate t raised to 4 by 4 ok similarly after integration we get cos raised to 4 theta by 4 at 0 to 2 pi t means what cos theta means cos raised to 4 theta divided by 4 and this is minus sign now cos 2 pi and cos 0 cos 2 pi and cos 0 is the same that value is always cos 2 pi and cos 0 sorry 0 is 1 same it is and this is equal to answer is a 0 so 1 minus 1 0 again 2 pi and 0 1 minus 1 0 so answer is a left hand side is a 0 ok now take right hand side this part take right hand side so m dx plus n dy this is a m dx plus n dy ok now take m now if m is equal to x square plus y square and n is equal to 3x square y then right hand side is a integration of integration of r dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y dx dy ok now differentiate n with respect to x partially means this is a dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y is equal to differentiate n with respect to x partially 6xy minus differentiate m with respect to y x treated as a constant only 2y and right hand side is equal to integration of integration this part is 2y now just take common 2y and inside is 3x minus 1 ok now set the limit now we will take first x axis then after y axis now take x x axis x is what minus 2 plus 2 take left to right left is minus 2 2 plus 2 now x is equal to minus 2 2 plus 2 now y is equal to ok see the equation equation is x square plus y square is equal to 4 take only 4 uh, y means x square plus y square is equal to 4 then y square is equal to 4 minus x square 4 minus x square this is a first you consider bottom curve then after top curve negative and positive now y is equal to 4 minus x square one is a negative one is a positive y is equal to 4 minus x square ok now and the first is a with respect to y second is a with respect to x now first you integrate with respect to y this one this is equal to first you integrate now integration x is equal to minus 2 2 x is equal to plus 2 with respect to y 3x minus 1 is a constant only integrate with respect to y y square by 2 2 to cancel only y square with limit is minus square root uh, 4 minus x square plus square root 4 minus x square dx put y value square square root get cancel x is equal to minus 2 2 plus 2 into 3x minus 1 ok now put y value square and square root get cancel inside is a 4 minus x square minus sign again y is equal to take lower limit square root square cancel this become positive ok square is there then 4 minus x square dx 
plus 4 minus 4 cancel minus x square minus minus plus and minus plus get cancel this is equal to 0 thus left hand side and right hand side both are same thus the theorem is theorem is verified this is a required solution